All right, what's up, Hawk Squad? And welcome back to my Hawk Banger Reaction Marathon. So we're going to check out another Blank Boy recap. That's right, another Blank Boy recap is finally here. This is actually his recent one. This is for his Avengers Infinity War recap, and it's called When the Avengers Defended Earth from Thanos' Goons. So Hawk Squad, I'm excited to see this. I love Avengers Infinity War, and yeah, I'm very excited to see this. Of course, Blank Boy, once again, with another, excuse me, with another Banger recap. So Hawk Squad, of course, we're going to check this out right now. So let's get it. It's about to go down. Thanos had to make us pull up on the Avengers theatrical, so he gave the unincredible Hulk a <laughs> unincredible Hulk on the earth. He told Hulk, hey, let him know I'm coming. Make sure to polish those stones for me. Bruce had PTSD. Mid beat down, he saw Mufasa reaching <laughs> out <laughs> Thought it was over. So, bro got to snitching. They didn't even have to <laughs> offer him a Big Mac or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce got to talking about a bunch of wheeze and us need to stop Thanos and Iron Man's oh, not wheeze. feeling it because he just made promises to Pepper about how they're gonna live a long happy life together from now on. Yeah, I about that. Bruce. I promised Pepper some excitement in our relationship. Tony, if that hoe wants some excitement, she could take her ass to the movies. This is <laughs> life or death. <laughs> Tony heard that this man Thanos is six, seven, four hundred pounds and they got him quaking in his boots. <laughs> Can't believe it. And you sure he don't whoop? I think I'm gonna be <laughs> I need a sandwich. I'm hungry too. Oh really? <laughs> Damn. How about you lead us Damn. to some food, nigga? And then we figure out how to beat Thanos. But all their deliberating gets interrupted because when Thanos told Hulk to warn them about his pull-up, bro met his pull-up in 15 minutes. Cause his boots <laughs> already here. They slid on New York immediately, ready to snag Doctor Strange's chain. We need that time stone. What happened to bro saying he would do it himself after Age of Ultron? Bro sent a duo to go take on the Avengers. He thought he had Prime Ninja and Myth on payroll. <laughs> Harry, Harry, we are the division of Thanos <laughs> deck riders. We have quite the cachet. Even Meek Mill heard dick riding and tried to <laughs> This is Damn. fake. This is fake. This is fake. Yeah, that's Photoshop. This is fake. <laughs> on my mama, that's fake. On my heart, and my life, my little brother Greg, I could die right now, that's fake. Oh, yeah? You need a clarinet, Squidward? <laughs> oh, this nigga got your but Ebony Maul was there to see the Unincredible Hulk beat down in space. So in the corner of his eye, he peeps Bruce and he's like, I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> Go after the short old one, E straight food. I remember being in the theater high as hell to see Hulk get his lick back. But little did I know, the writers went out their way to try to cook up the lamest version possible. Yeah. Hulk with performance issues is not what I needed to see, bro. Pop a fucking Hulk Agra and lock it. <laughs> yes. We were posted up on the other side in the TN laughing at bro. Bruce is embarrassing the entire squad right now. Tony had to tell Banner to step aside so he could clean up his mess and recover the red <laughs> Showing off that unreleased shit hasn't even hit the market yet. Nanotech armor. Squidward got to hating. Blue Jacket with Nanotech and he still hasn't found a hair growth formula that works yet. Sending Cull Obsidian to get his head locked, left, and get blasted by his lasers. And the thing is, Ebony Maul was standing right behind Cull Obsidian, <laughs> but instead of catching him, he uses the force to throw bro into a car. Bruce is shocked. Keep in mind, this is his first day back on Earth since he dipped in Age of Ultron. <laughs> he left, had a son who somehow has two hairlines, came two back hairlines. and recently seen this crazy shit. <laughs> Yo, Tony, put me on to one of those. I never whipped this out. <laughs> 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 Squidward interrupts Iron Man's gatekeeping with his earth bending, picking up two trees and force pushing them over, but Wong has got it covered. Doctor Strange looks behind him and he sees Hulk and Bruce putting up Patrick Beverly numbers. They average in five high fives, three butt slaps, and ten. You guys got this! Yo, <laughs> <all the> trash! <laughs> so Doctor Strange subs this man out, almost crushing him in the process. <laughs> While Bruce is catching that killing treatment, Squidward goes and throws a van at Wong and Doctor Strange. So as Doctor Strange is trying to defend himself, Iron Man's just like, If you don't get that voice out of my face, bitch! <laughs> fucking up the whole spell, pushing the car back as it gets sliced in half. We got a man of science and a man of magic. What'd y'all expect? You think he's a go get along with King Kong? <laughs> you hate him, it's vintage. <laughs> Nigga, I see the muscle man. <laughs> And Strange had just dipped with the time stone, like Tony said, a lot of this could have been avoided. <laughs> All you had to do was go somewhere where no one would find them, like a Madam Web showing. <laughs> Iron Man charges in, avoiding Squidward's attacks, but as he's closing in, Ebony Ma hits the Michael Jack. Oh yeah, speaking of Madam Web, I had about a good like what? 15 people I um I saw on an IMAX when I first saw it. Yeah, it was uh it was pretty half empty. And lean and Cole Obsidian hits him so hard he sent his ass into Central Park. 
This ass whooping got Tony reminiscing on his ex <laughs> R&B song. He needs to make it right with Cap. <laughs> you okay? Send me back in, big bro. I can help. Trust. Right. Yeah, right. You get fucking because I'm dumbass. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck to fucking do. Like, damn, you get on this shit every day, pull the same shit. It's so fucking easy to play this fucking game. I'm sick of this shit fucking hard. Bruce's scanner to get back into Avengers HQ not finna be working next time he tries to use it. Call Obsidian burst through the wall and he's trying to boost his KD going after the free eats but Iron Man is able to push him out the way last minute. While all this fighting is going on No hulking is above gone. Bruce and Hulk are having their own version of couples counseling. Bruce is trying to slap this man into acting right using those Chris Brown methods I see. But Hulk still ain't going for it. While Thanos was going around just bodying all types of different worlds, he must have hmm. came across Cybertron because Cole Obsidian's hammer is a Decepticon. Transforming. Oh, by the way, I saw that Transformers 1 is getting the trailer next week. I'm excited for that. And also, Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover confirmed, y'all. Wow. Into a shield to block Iron Man's lasers. First Tony, now Cole Obsidian. Dude saw Cap shield the five physics too many times, hmm. and now they're starting to bite off it. <laughs> Tony is spraying, but he gets hit, getting laid out, and as Cole Obsidian is about to GG him, he closes his eyes, accepting <laughs> the fate that this is where the legend of Tin Man is gonna end. But he gets saved. Tony didn't even see what happened, so he's looking like... Who the <laughs> fuck is this nigga, bro? Damn, you ugly as shit. <laughs> hey, Mr. Stark. <laughs> We learned about Harriet Tubman for the fifth time. I don't know how she sat in the back of the bus. <laughs> Yo. They over here conversating like they're not in the middle of a fight. So Spider Man gets held like an NBA Finals trophy <laughs> as Iron Man blasts him in the armpit and is able to duck out the <laughs> way. Spider Man peeps Tony go in and he like, oh, we jumping? <laughs> so I'm with that. But none of Iron Man's teachings worked because, oh my God. Step back one legged. What kind of shot is that? <laughs> Have you ever shot that shot? Do you work on that shot? Wait! <laughs> Getting spun around and tossed away as Iron Man comes in dodging a car being thrown at him. Weep. But that shit backfired because Spider-Man catches it, pulling it down, squishing him like a bug. The cameraman then pans back over to Thanos' number one fan, Ebony Maul. Has ever had the might, nay the nobility. I would make jokes, but that's messed up. He's clearly <laughs> suffering from OCD. Obsessive compulsive dick right now. <laughs> you see him and he begins to levitate a bunch of Russell Westbrook's jump shots, sharpening <laughs> them and firing them over as Doctor Strange opens up a portal. Him and Wong really go together like he be and jelly. That Naruto and Sasuke chemistry as Wong fires them back and he tries to use a car to defend himself. You know, this shit with windows all on it. He's <laughs> right. in the forehead. Yeah, clipped, yeah. Tight. So he gives Wong every Super Smash Bros. Pro biggest fear. A shower, blasting him away. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch decides to get him <laughs> <Ebony's laughs> <story. laughs> sleep bag, pulling out a whip and grabbing Ebony Maw's <laughs> Damn, y'all, yeah, he really had to use Tony to Slay, bro. But, um, Tony to Slave is one of the greatest movies of all time. It was so, it was incredible. Incredible, very hard to watch. If you've not seen it, highly recommend it. And it's funny enough because shout out to Eagle Ford's in it too. Who played Mondo in, Do in Doctor Strange 1 and 2, so it makes it kind of hilarious that he's in the MC2 as well. So pulling him in, but ends up getting tackled into the wall. Squidward got Doctor Strange right where he wants him, and to keep him there, he uses his earth bending to trap him in a bunch of bricks. He's licking his lips now, so there's no way out of this one. All that's left to do is snatch that Damn. Hand, which he tries to do, but he gets his hand burnt. Doctor Strange used a spell on it called Magi Sir Naturel. Which I think roughly translates to broke niggas can't touch. Thanos said <laughs> Cole Obsidian suck dick better than you. Please just shut up! The idea of not being Thanos' favorite eater got Squidward so discombobulated he turns into a high school bully. Grabbing <laughs> this man by the collar got him bouncing off the concrete. Doctor Strange gets back up as quick as possible <laughs> and he tries to use the time stone to revert back to right before he got <laughs> a giant welt on his head from getting dropped. <laughs> but Squidward stops this man right in his tracks, saw him throwing up the double peace sign and knew he was up to no good. <laughs> so he starts to trap this man down again like a 40 year old IG model versus a young athlete, Damn. putting the metal all around his body and then neck, having him on the brink of death as he collapses. But you know how it is, the riders stay doing Squidward dirty. Cheer up Squid, it could be worse. Yeah, yeah you could be bald and have a big Nose. <laughs> so on some Looney Tunes ass. Praise them as it can't. 
Shit, as he's being carried away, the cape just slips right out. Strange may have gotten away, but his windpipes are still being restricted. <laughs> so the cameraman pans back over to Iron Man Ooh. block on Cold City. Pete's Doctor Strange zooming through and tells little bro Peter to get on that. Peter's still trying to make the Avengers trials, so he not gonna mess this up, surely. He starts <laughs> chasing after Ebony Maw, who's chasing after Doctor Strange. And as he's narrowing in, it looks like he's just on the brink of catching them. Yes, yes sir, that's my son. <laughs> Nope. Uh, <laughs> he like Leonardo DiCaprio. He heard <laughs> that Peter's under 25 and thought it was free eats. The Spider-Man hits his sweet ass recovery, going back and getting faced with this crazy obstacle course. <laughs> we all play Spider-Man PS4 though. This shit easier than Mary Jane. But what it does do, it does work to catch Doctor Strange, who comes out and gets caught by Spider-Man, who gets caught by a UFO. Doctor Strange's body is being levitated up onto the ship to get his brains eaten by aliens. <laughs> but Peter is trying his best to hold on and even tried hitting the Captain hmm. America ship. But you're just not that you're not guy, guy here. Squidward comes through to metal bend the pole off the ground to have Spider-Man and Doctor Strange go up into the ship. Hmm. I know Ebony Moss celebrating like he just won Game 7. Then <laughs> for sure gonna let him polish both heads after doing this. <laughs> Iron Man leaves out the way, tries to fight back, but gets caught and slammed onto the ground. I got you were dead! <laughs> You ain't bad! You ain't nothing! Shit, that's him, man. Glitch. That damn Decepticon hammer must be his weakness. And that's okay. Everybody's got him. Superman's his kryptonite. Shaq's his free throws. And nah, damn. Race his music. Damn. Cold City and runs over to finish the job, but Wong blesses up, sending him to an average winner in Minnesota. They was out here trolling too, because they could have been closed the portal. But right. instead, they just out here laughing at bro. And it's not until he goes to try to jump back through that Wong decides to close it, cutting off this man's whole hand. Yep. While all of this was going on, keep in mind Spider Man's halfway up to space by now. Tony managed to bless him with some gear, but yep, he's telling the bro to come back down. Forget about Squidward before you fuck up the suit. <laughs> it's expensive. He built that shit brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. <laughs> so Doctor Strange has the time stone. <laughs> I yet to see Snowfall, man. And Vision has the Mind Stone, which they also need. So since Wanda and Vision actually have some damn sense, they camp down in like Uzbekistan or some shit. <laughs> but they try taking a stroll down the street like these is not the trenches. <laughs> they just snuck by Corvus Glaive yep. and tossed to the side. Getting stabbed into a new fit is crazy. <laughs> new fit. Hey Wanda, you know they got your mans, right? So she tries to get back. As she's loading up her attack, she gets blasted yep. by Proxima Midnight into a building. And I can already tell, these two getting signed into Sneak Nation as we speak. This was 10 out of 10 work right here. Hmm. Not a single ounce of fighting fair in sight. And not just that, but they show off the ancient fight back nigga technique. <laughs> Double team pinning this man to the ground, robbing him of his jewelry. This is marvelous work. They might just go straight for the presidential position at this point. But Wanda peeps that vision is straight barbecue chicken right now. So she blasts the two of them away and decides to just skedaddle out of here with vision. But remember in Civil War how she accidentally killed all those innocent oh, people yeah. while trying to move that bomb? Damn. Girl, stay fucking up. Because Doc. That was best. That was so messed up when that happened in um Captain America Civil War. Like, damn, man. Damn, bitch. This ride bumpy as hell. Got my man vision going through it right now. If I hear the Avengers pulling up to save me and I see Wanda, I know I'm cooked. Yeah. I might make it out of here, but it's gonna be without one of my legs or arms. Yeah. Vision already got brain damage now, but she manages to land him safely and reel him in towards her. The ops got my boy Vision looking like Android 16 right now. He's <laughs> gonna start talking about birds and shit soon. <laughs> Wanda though manages to find a dark alley and starts healing him up. But Corvus Glaive can hear the sound of an android leaking from a mile away. So he pulls up grabbing Vision as they take off wrestling into two different buildings. Wanda swore to God that she was Katara, got to camp from behind pillars, but Proxima Midnight is on that, hitting the pillar as Ooh. Wanda gets in her big bag, weaving through the attacks and pushing her out the way. In the other 1v1, Corvus Glaive got Vision pressed up, telling him about how he's gonna turn him into a new laptop and how Wanda's gonna get turned into minced meat once they're done with him. Vision heard his girl mention that his overall went up 10 points, landing on top of the roof. By the way, Vision is yet to land an actual hit. It's like he forgot he has the power of a whole infinity stone. Wanda and Proxima Midnight are down below going hit for hit until Wanda gets blasted away, able to soften her fall. Wanda didn't even get the chance to catch her breath because the second she rolls over, Proxima Midnight is ready to go for the kill shot. Vision yells over to Wanda, Hey, don't worry, I'm winning over here. I'm coming to help soon. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> he goes yeah, right. the wall, gut punch, chin check, and tosses him to the side like a big Sean album. And I want y'all to come look at this. Vision's standing there like, I won't let him get <laughs> away. What are you doing? <laughs> Firing off the mind stage, which Corvus is able to block, got it dispersed in mad different directions. They almost clipped their own teammates down there boxing. And Vision continues to be so ass, bro, <laughs> getting his own attack redirected. If I was Steve, later on in the movie, there would have been no deliberating on whether we've taken the stone out of his head or not. Once I seen his stats, oh yeah, we could get Polka Dot Man to do this. <laughs> Poor Wanda is fighting, but here's Vision up there getting work. Oh, speaking of Polka Dot Man, the actor David Dallas Mountain, he's actually in the MCU, he's in the Ant Man movies. So she hits this clean ass limbo move, tossing Proxima Midnight into the fire, laying her ass out. So she flies up, and I want y'all to feast your eyes on this. This guy, Vision, is getting sunned again! I can't believe this is really the Tin Man that has Shorty in tears over having to kill him to save the world. Hmm. Her and Ebony Maw clearly were dickmatized this whole movie. Dickmatized. She pulls up on the My Precious Dude all grown up now, casting <laughs> him through the window, knocking him out, grabbing Vision, and tries to dip out. But they did not get very far, because this expensive-ass backpack that is Vision yeah. is holding her back as Proxima Midnight blasts them out the sky. While they're barreling down to certain doom, I'm thinking, damn. So after they scoop this stone off Vision's flattened sardine can body, how much more they need? But Vision is able to hug Wanda midair as she uses her powers to cushion the fall, but that shit still look like it hurt like crazy. Vision knows he's of no <clears> use to her, so he tells Wanda to dip, but she's refusing. She already lost her speedster brother, who can't dodge bullets, but I think a Batman could do that shit. So even as Proxima Midnight and then Corvus Glaive jump through the roof, giving her the death stare, ready to call game, Wanda stands ten toes down, wasn't about to duck any smoke. This is really all just the first 20 minutes. Right? I remember sitting in the right? theater like, this is... Yes! Yes! Proxima Midnight looks perplexed, which causes Wanda to turn her head. Well, real, real stuff, man, real stuff. This is like, look, what the first 20, 30 minutes in, the movie, in Avengers Infinity War, man, my entire theater, I saw I Mess, by the way, was absolutely going nuts in the entire movie, especially, of course, at the, you know, the final battle. Y'all already you know. And, and once she gets a better look, she sees a man just standing yep, there. Yep, Cap. Instantly. It's crazy because she don't even know who that is. That could be the train station custodian. <laughs> but she just chucks her staff, which he catches, and it's my son, Steve Rogers. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how these two were fighting a literal android powered by an <laughs> infinity stone with infinite power and a goddamn witch. <laughs> but the nigga with steroids pull up and <laughs> steroids. now them. Cause Falcon out of nowhere, yeah, Fal Martin kicks Shorty through a coffee shop. Now that she's out the picture, he goes up into the sky to start choosing <laughs> the height advantage, sending over four of his little drones as Corvus is able to block them. Cap hits the Tom Brady from across the map, tossing his staff to Black Widow, who's yeah. running a clean route. Corvus is now in a 3v1. He finna go back to Thanos like, and he jumped me, nigga. <laughs> as Black Widow clips his leg, weaves, and stabs him right in the torso. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he goes to hit her back with his staff, but she flips, twisting it in even more, and double kicks him to the ground. Proxima watching this like, nah, that's foul. Nobody really gonna try and kill my boyfriend like that? Is this nigga serious? Pulling back her staff and goes for the kill, but Steve saves Black Widow last minute. Thank you for saving my life. She, she won't. She won't be. He's able to push the staff up and then push her to Black Widow, missing two slices on Natasha. Her man's is out of commission, so she's 100% trapped in this 2v1. As she turns and Cap blocks, then Natasha blocks, as Falcon kicks her ass to the ground to lay right beside her man's. The Avengers seeing what type of demon timing these people are on and how dangerous they are, but they can't help themselves and still let them go up in their ship and dip out. Oh, okay. That was it. That was a great, that was a hilarious recap, Blake boy. Yeah, man. When the first 30, from, <clears throat> excuse me, 20, 30 minutes of his Trinity War back in 2018, it feels, it feels crazy. It's been that long since it came out. Yeah, man, this, man, this movie was absolutely so freaking incredible. So incredible watching theaters. I mean, my theater was absolutely jam packed. I mean, what, what, what to say, what to say about Adventure Free War? It's one of the greatest super movies of all time, you know? Not, well, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. You know, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, we already know. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my recap of Blake Boy's recap. Of Avengers Infinity War. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, comment, share, share your thoughts. Which your favorite MCU movie? How many times you seen Infinity War? And yeah.
Blade Bar. W recap, Blade Bar. W recap as always. So, Hawk Squad, please stay tuned because I have another Blade Bar recap, and it is Transformers Doctor Moon. There's actually one of the older ones, but I'm not going to see it. So, Hawk Squad, please stay tuned for that.